everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel I am so freaking excited for today's video in today's video we're gonna be going Barnes and Noble book shopping I absolutely love Barnes and Noble and unfortunately I do not have one near me but I am currently visiting family and they have one nearby. So we're going to be doing that today. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. We're gonna be browsing the shelves, looking at books that I'm in the mood for. I love making these type of videos. I love watching these type of videos. So I'm so excited to bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy. And as you can see, I got three books here to show you. I'm so excited to show you these. I had so much freaking fun at Barnes & Noble. I wanted to be there for like two hours easily. I had so much fun just looking through all the books, all the different sections. They even had like a Harry Potter section that I was just like admiring. They had this like fun Halloween section. It was so much fun and it was dead in there. I think it was like me and one other person. It was so nice. Today, I didn't have any books in mind. It was quite fun doing it that way because then any book that was just like speaking to me, I was getting. First book that I got is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. When you look at the genres of this book, it literally says coming of age story, romance, horror, comedy, drama. So to think that those like wildly different genres are all in this book sounds so intriguing. And I read a little bit of the back and it talks about we're following the story of Charlie who is growing up in high school and he's basically telling you 
what it's like. It says it's more intimate than a diary. And it says Charlie, our main character, writes letters that are singular and unique, hilarious and devastating. And I have never done this before, but I ended up reading the first page and I love going into books very blindly. So I was like feeling like reading the first page, so I, I just did and I'm not disappointed. When I read the first page, I was so intrigued and I want to just keep reading it and I ended up buying it because I really liked the writing just with that and it was very captivating and intriguing and so I decided to get it then I literally have been having this book on my radar like I've had it in my Amazon cart a couple of times but then I like talk myself out of it but when I saw it at Barnes Noble I got so freaking excited so I got every last word and as you can see it has purple sprayed edges this is my first ever time buying a book that has sprayed edges and it's purple. Purple is my favorite color. So I got so excited when I saw this. So it says, if you could read my mind, you wouldn't be smiling. So this seems like also a very emotional story as well. So it says, Samantha looks just like the rest of the popular girls in her junior class, but beneath her expertly applied makeup, she's consumed by a stream of dark thoughts and worries that she can't turn off. Second guessing every move, thought, and word makes daily life a struggle. And it doesn't help that her lifelong friends will turn toxic at the first sign of wrong outfit, wrong lunch, or wrong crush. So when Sam meets Caroline, 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 I don't know why I like that name. Caroline introduces Sam to Poet's Corner, a hidden room in a tight-knit group of misfits who have been ignored by the school at large. Sam is drawn to them immediately, especially a guitar playing guy with a talent for verse and starts to discover a whole new side of herself. This book sounds very emotional and it looks like it's going to talk a lot about mental health and also the complexity of being in high school, being young, trying to figure out who you are and also trying to be cool and included. So now to the last book I got is Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. I absolutely love this cover with the red and pink. So it says one woman is going to have to learn how to give love a chance when she's used to suspecting the worst in this fresh romantic comedy. It says PhD candidate Phoebe Walsh has always been obsessed with true crime. She's even analyzing the genre in her dissertation. I don't know how to read that well. If she can manage to finish writing it. It said it doesn't help that she's low key convinced that her new neighbor is a serial killer. He may dress business casual by day, but at night he's clearly up to something. It's not long before Phoebe realizes that Sam might be something much scarier. A genuinely nice guy who can pierce her armor to reach her vulnerable heart. Aww, nothing like having a crush on someone who might be killing people. <laughs> this sounds perfect for this time of the year when you wanna read something scary, spooky, but also want to read romance. This sounds perfect for that. The genres for this one also say that it's like contemporary romance, fiction, but also thriller and humor. So I'm super excited to read this one. I had so much fun bringing guys along with me. I really hope you enjoyed. If you've read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your rating was, what your thoughts are on them. That concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.